And we are back with Sekiro. Sekiro, Sekiro. Uh, where I once again have no idea. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember, but I don't remember this missed treasure. We were just about to pick up the Moron Blade, which is actually perfect for this. I have no idea why I came back to this idol because of the NPC. Cool. We're pacing this all together. Like, I, I ain't stupid. I ain't stupid. It only takes me like a minute. We now know where we are. Um, anyways, I think we're going to finish this quest line here. I mean, this Sempo Temple run. We have a boss coming up, a pretty easy one. And then we can go to the other area. We'll finish up exploring Ashina Castle. And, and that's about it, I think. Thing is, yep, there's an item there. Which you can grapple to. I swear I know how to play this game, don't even worry about it. There we go. Easy as hell. It's a dragon blood droplet. Cool. Haven't needed one of those since since the first one, because that's how lit I am at this game. But you never know, you might as well keep them stocked up. Ring that bell. Come on, Alfred. Oh, that's not how he rings it. It's a very assertive ring. That was in one of the trailers, for fucking sure. I remember that scene specifically. Alright, it's more on Blade time. Let's do this. This is one of the most annoying bosses in the entire game. So we'll just kind of have to tackle this because I never know what exactly you need to do here. These four fucking monkeys. Look at that monkey, straight up a professor. to kill you bitch okay, let's not have loud ass monkey roars in the video okay I just cool so there is a way to reset this because um, there's like ways to screw up this uh, like monkey thing this is one this is the first one you need to kill I mentioned this many a times right how you kill a fucked up amount of animals in this game and this boss is no exception to that rule so there's one that like follows you around um, or like is behind you or something there's the deaf one and I think you have to lead the deaf one in here so that he can't hear you approaching and then the uh, the final one I don't remember. I'm actually gonna be honest with you, I don't remember the other two either. There's one one of these motherfuckers right here. There he goes. It's a pretty fast one. Oh yeah, and you have ghost monkeys as well. And the weirdest thing is, this ain't even the only fucking area in this game where the main objective is killing monkeys sorry monkey like there are two monkey murder areas that's how fucked up this game is I think he might be in the right place bruh no he isn't Bear flame in the wind, when it goes out the place becomes dark as night. This is the one. You have to open this, right? Yeah. 
nothing happened. That was cool though. It's just not exactly what we intended. Isn't there also an NPC here? Yeah, there is. Let's talk to him. The Sampo Monk. Looks like fucking Xerxes from 300. I think that's one we don't have, like, dead. Interesting. We need the orange one, that's the other one. Oh. So we need the orange one, because the purple one is the... The purple one is the most difficult one, I think. So let's kill the fucked up orange one. And then we can like... See his little footsteps. We're gonna sneak up on him, don't worry. We're, we're tiptoeing along. This looks fucking silly. Oh, this looks so stu <laughs> stupid on an incline. The way he's like tippy-tapping along. thought he was here. Is that him? No, that's like a regular ass fuck ghost monkey. And I'm fucking out of battery. I don't even care. Except these guys do frenzy. Oh shit. It's not him, is it? I don't think so. We're gonna tippy tappy. Oh, there he is. Oh, you are so fucked. You are so screwed. Give me your money too if you have it. Ghost monkey's going down. That really is fucking frenzy. Not frenzy, what is it called? You know what it's called, it kills you. That's what it's called. Cool, ghost monkey's taken care of. I gotta fight the purple one, and that's gonna be the most challenging. Unless... We just drop on him and kill him. I remember now. Because you have to open the door to let the breeze in. And he don't like that. That's the one. And he goes to, to close it. And that's when you get the drop. That was actually the smoothest folding monkeys fight I've had. Normally you can like, like run around like an idiot for a long time here. Now we get that sweet, sweet lore. We're gonna get the second Kuro. Basically the second Kuro. And one of the most annoying quest lines in good old Sekiro. That's more like it. And that does actually count as a normal, um, like, proper boss fight. Interestingly, not even interestingly, the ninjutsu you get from them is pretty useful. Pretty damn useful. 
If you want to do the quest line, you're going to be warping here a lot, so... I'm not sure if I've mentally prepared myself to do this quest line yet, but whatever. It's like very, very specific. Yeah, so this is the girl Kuro. Basically. Oh, don't worry about that. We have the power of Gil. Get that Nippon still out here. got to glow red like obviously and it straight up mercs us so what does she do with the corpses like because obviously from this dialogue it seems like people have made it here before to draw this sword so what she eat them or something Hell yeah, we got that resurrection. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, you can't actually use it. Like, it's the, it doesn't replace your sword. And on that, you're capable of slaying the undying. Its crimson blade will take the life of any who dares draw it. Without the power of resurrection, one could not hope to wield this weapon which allows one to defeat even infested beings. Nice. And now we have a lot of dialogue. Now we have two Nippon steels on us. That is a nice ass looking candle too. Someone put a lot of effort into that candle. Don't worry, I'm not bored. So, like, the way I understand it is that Kuro has this, like, resurrection power naturally while she was created to be immortal. At least that's how I get it, and that's how I understand it. We have another friend. She's a little magician, makes rice appear. Oh god, this quest line. I've only seen it on YouTube and like watching it annoyed me. Do I need to like cook, take it, take this here, take this there, warp around like an idiot? Yeah. Uh, you can request rice, but we don't need that. Anyways, there's a little easter egg, I think, if you go back to the the Halls of Illusions with the dude. At least, as I remember, he has some dialogue. He, like, can't even get out of here, and that's how lame this guy is. Very underwhelming. 
that's all I can say okay and if we go this way I think this is the path that leads back to Senpai Temple where we can try out our new weapon the Moron Blade again unfortunately there, there is a way to use it in combat via an ability and it is a pretty good ability but about it so you want if you find one of these fuckers you kill him and I said you kill him and you moron blade him and now he's dead normally these guys are unkillable as in they resurrect fucking hell I mean if they don't kill me first I swear I didn't just get hit by that on purpose. You're getting more on blade for that. So yeah, that's basically the gimmick. Pretty good. Useful. Let's just rest here before we do anything else. I'm going to get the screening <laughs> screening door monkeys. Yeah. Something like that. So the monkeys are like the souls of the other dead children. There's a little bit of morbidity for you. Uh, somebody said that the Ashina... Are, I mean, not the Ashina, the... Fuck, where are the Ichimonji? Oh yeah, I have the Ichimonjis. Somebody said to get those because they're pretty useful. And I believe that the Ichimonji double, yeah. Reduces the amount of damage to posture when attacked by an enemy with a sword. Yup. And the Ichimonji double. Let's get those. Oh, we do have more on draw. It does cost spirit emblems though. We'll save more on draw for later and actually we are going to switch out to Puppeteer, because Puppeteer is pretty useful in a couple... No, actually Puppeteer is only useful in one specific instance. Ichimonji this bitch. God damn, like... These enemies are the worst, like... Non-humanoid enemies in this game are sometimes the the worst, seriously. Oh, you are getting more on blades so hard. No mercy for you. Ongo sugar, very much worth it. Anyway, I'm bothered with that. Give me the pallet and let's get the fuck out of here. So we're basically right now taking the Mortal Blade on a little tour, showing it to everyone, proudly, that we have it. At least I think you, you, there's dialogue for everyone. Excuse me. No, we're talking about the tree. We need to go there too. At least I think there is something with this. It's part of some quest line. What an asshole. Probably sold it on the flea market or something. No gourd seeds. Alright, cool. What about Kuro? You want to see a sword? Oh, we're still... I think we're a little bit behind questline wise. Don't worry. We're, we're a bit ahead, but cool.
This is the part I don't remember. They're gonna get stoned again. Unbelievable, how irresponsible is that? Hell yeah, it's the moron blade. So we're gonna explain what we just did. I knew I was right. See? Lore Master. I am a Lore Master of Sekiro. See, he wanted friends. I think that's the implication there. Or maybe not, maybe he just doesn't give a fuck. Anything else? Did we? Uh, okay, what about? No, let's start. Hell yeah, we know how that works. So basically, there's one, um, like right here, maybe? I don't know where it is. But it do exist. And it leads back to... Uh, what you call it? Our shrine. Let's use it. This is if you don't want to... Uh, kind of always have to warp back and forth. Saves you a load time. Which is pretty handy if you ask me. Alright, Sculptor. Let's talk. He, he has nothing to say. What can we upgrade though? We have the axe, which is okay. I guess some new info. Improved Sabimaru, that's a pretty good one too. We're gonna get that, yeah. Spring loaded flame vent, mmm, fuck it. Haven't upgraded shit so far, so we might as well do it. There's one more thing I want to do with the Moron Blade. I thought more characters had like unique dialogues when you have it, but apparently not. Still, I think Ishin might. So let's go see the man. I knew it. Don't you go grabbing it, you're already almost dead. Died once, you know, nothing much to it. I don't think I ever came back here to talk about him. Talk to him, I mean. About the moron, bl moron blade. This guy is cool. 
only been killing centipedes, bruh. Don't even worry about that. See, the thing is, though, um, we're in a bit of a pickle, as they say. Because I ain't really got time to do anything else, really. Been going for a good solid 30x minutes. So I, what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is we'll wrap up this episode of Sekiro here. Maybe this will be a shorter one. Um, and from next time we can start exploring Ashina. Because there's some stuff to do here. And then we can go to the valley, the monkey valley. Kill more animals, as bad as that sounds. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. It's just how this game is. Nothing much I can do about that. Uh, I think we're gonna do that and continue on our little quest because that's where the abduction thing is as well which we need to complete the dude's quest line in Sampo. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Sekiro. Hope you enjoyed as always. If you did make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual and I'll catch all of you next time. Take care, goodbye and peace out.